Hey everyone, Mike Miller with the Herald Times, joined by IU basketball columnist Jeremy Price, previewing Saturday afternoon's 4 o'clock tip-off with Michigan State. Indiana returns home after that win at Penn State the other day, although they're going to be shorthanded and they might be shorthanded by a couple. OG Ananobi is done for the season. He's going to require surgery on his injured right knee. Juwan Morgan injured his foot last weekend playing against Rutgers, actually tripped over an official. It sounds doubtful he'll play. Hoosiers have to move on and, and, and figure out a way to go without those two guys. Yeah, and when you're talking Michigan State specifically, the OG uh, injury really deprives us of that matchup uh, with him and uh, Michigan State freshman standout Miles Bridges, uh, two of the most versatile, athletic, uh, big wings, if you will, uh, out there. And, and then if Jawan Morgan can't go, obviously Indiana is going to have to look for other places to make up that difference, other ways to match up, other ways to get things done on the boards, in the post, uh, blocks, rebounds. I mean, there's a, any list of things that you could. Uh, runoff that, that Indiana needs to do without those two guys. And Miles Bridges has been absolutely outstanding. I think he missed most of, if not most of, all of the month of December mm -hmm. uh, with an injury. He's been back, and since he's been back this uh, this month of January, he's been just fantastic. His last two games, I think he's averaged about 20 points. He's a factor on the boards. He's a factor just about everywhere on the floor. We actually saw him out in uh, Hawaii. They were, they were playing in the game just before mm -hmm. the uh, the Kansas game. So just seeing him, yeah, he's, he's a tank. He's a lot to handle. So you do wonder, how, how does Indiana combat that? How do they match up? does seem now going forward Zach McRoberts is going to get a little bit more attention Deron Davis is going to step into maybe a more you know high volume role mm -hmm. who are some of the other guys who need to kind of step up and take some of the uh, the load off some of the other starters well in this game in particular with Michigan State uh, you know this is a chance for the Indiana backcourt really to step up and we've seen a little bit of that influence uh, over recent weeks with uh, Curtis Jones and Devontae Green coming off the bench giving a spark uh, the other night obviously James Blackman hit the game winner uh, Robert Johnson also had a really good night there so that's where those guys can step up obviously Michigan State's strength isn't necessarily in its backcourt mm -hmm. per se or at least not from an offensive standpoint so I think Indiana can develop a little bit of an advantage there in this game uh, and it's an area that we've wanted to see all year but obviously limiting the turnovers cutting those down making the most of the possessions is going to help Indiana in this situation as well. Four o'clock tip off. You can catch the game on ESPN. Follow along with our updates on Twitter. You can find me at, at MikeMillerHT at JP Price. See you after the game.